More people than ever are creating video content from a variety of different devices. The first thing we've done in Photoshop CS6 is moved video functionality so that it isn't just available and extended, but in both versions of Photoshop. We've also made it easier to use and more powerful than ever. Let's take a look at how it works. So here we have our video clip open in Photoshop CS6. And I can pan through this. I can choose a point that I want to trim this. Quickly and easily trim that. Go ahead and delete that area there. And if I want to mute my audio, I can mute the local audio there. I can add additional audio quickly and easily. If I want to come in here, I'm just going to scrub over to that point in the timeline. And I'll notice that my image is a bit off because it's larger than the frame. So I can just take my Move tool, pull that down the way I want it to look. And let's also drop a transition in there. Let's do a crossfade between those two clips. I'll drag that right there, pull back before it. The last thing we want to do here is export this video. And we've got more ways to do that than we ever have before using the Adobe Media Encoder. I can choose my destination, and I've got a variety of different presets for all sorts of different destinations. It'll automatically populate all of the fields with the values I need. When I'm ready, I just click Render, and AME takes care of the rest. So there you have an intuitive video editing experience wired to a familiar interface, more powerful than ever, in both versions of Photoshop CS6.